Allie Thomas and we're going to discuss just a couple different knots that will really help you get started with fishing. Now this is our, our extra large hook for purposes of demonstration and we're going to pretend that this line is our fishing line. So when it comes to fishing knots there are many different names and many different varieties but there are really two that we're going to go over today that are most commonly used and probably as good as anything for any type of fishing that you'd like to do. So we're going to start with the knot called the clinch knot and with our hook and our fishing line we'll put what's called the tag end through the eyelet hole of the hook. The tag end is going to be shorter than the main line that's actually going through the eye rings on the pole of the fishing pole. So, so with the tag end we're going to bend it over the line and actually spin your hook about five to seven times causing the line itself because you're holding it to start to, to, to spin on itself. Now if this was real line I would actually kind of spit on it or put it in my mouth because that water can help strengthen that bond. I'm not going to do that with this demonstration though. So about, about seven different spins so our line is starting to get wound together. With the short tag end I'm going to put it through the space between the eyelet and our fishing line and then you just kind of got to pull down and work it and at first it seems messy but all of a sudden it looks really nice and clean and what's happening here is you're going to have a nice tight line that will stay together when a fish hits your or, or bites your hook. So this is the clinch knot. There's another type of clinch knot called an improved clinch knot, but this alone will help you catch a lot of fish and keep your line connected to your hook without losing a fish because your knot was too weak. So this is a really popular knot. So another knot that is really helpful to use and a pretty basic knot a lot of people use, especially if they're gonna be using braided line, which is a little bit stronger, or uh, fishing for a species like bass because they want it to be a little bit stronger. It's called the polymers knot, which is actually doubled up. The clinch knot we just put straight through the eyelet hole. Polymers, we double it up. So again, this would be our tag line, and this would be the line going through the fishing pole. We put this double strand through the eyelet hole of the hook, and you, you take the smaller or the shorter end, and you just make a knot as if you were tying a shoe. With this tag end where there's a loop, you're actually going to feed the hook through it and pull it tight. And if you zoom in on that, you can see that it's actually doubled up. And so when a fish bites it, you very likely will not lose your fish because the knot comes undone with a polymer's knot. Aside from the knots that you would use to attach your lures, your hooks to your fishing line to start fishing, another really useful knot that anglers should know is the knot that you use to actually attach your line to your fishing reel. And uh, sometimes uh, when you buy a reel, it's not going to come with line, so you need to know how to spool it up. Or after the line has been uh, used up or gotten old, you need to change it. So you're going to need to attach new line to a spool on your fishing reel at some point. This knot that I'm going to show you is called the arbor knot. It can be used on any type of reel, whether it's a bait caster, a spinning reel, a fly reel. Um, it's very simple. And we're going to use this bright yellow cord um, uh, to demonstrate. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is take your line. This line coming off a new spool of line is going to go to the, to the spool. You want to thread it down through the guides or the eyelets on whatever rod it is that you're spooling up. So pull it down through and then on the spinning reel I'm going to open the bale here. This is the wire that holds your line in place. After you've come down through the eye of the rod you're going to wrap it around your spool here and the first thing you're going to do after you wrap it is you're going to take that tag end, the short end, and you're going to go around the main line and then around itself and tie a knot. An overhand knot just like you would tie a shoelace. So the overhand knot through the main line that goes to the spool of the new line. And then you're going to take 
the tag end and you're going to make another overhand knot except you're just going to tie it onto itself close to the first knot. So you end up having the overhand knot around the main line and then a second overhand knot tied onto itself. The last step is just to take your main line and pull on it which will cause the top knot to slide down and bind or cinch against that bottom knot and it'll hold that knot in place on your empty spool. You can then take a pair of scissors and trim that tag end short. Once you've done that you close your bail and you just start reeling on your new line until the spool is full.